Why don't you talk to your one's best friend anymore? She had a baby. And then one day we were having lunch and she told me you know. I only want to hang out with other moms from now on. I didn't quite get the hint. But she ignored all my texts and emails for a few months and I finally realized what she was trying to tell me back there. Let him move in because of issues at his home. Started missing money and found used syringes in my duck eyeing shoes. I feel she doesn't want to talk to me. What would happen if I stop initiating conversations? Many months later. Haven't heard a single word from her. When I realized the only thing we had in common was the past. That sucked. Edit. Probably stole this from reading it somewhere else a while ago. But it stuck with me and has been hanging in the back of my head for a while now. Walked in on him moments after he was finished ducking my, now ex, girlfriend in my room I. Karma was nice though, he blew out his knee and can no longer play his sport professionally. I lost a lot of weight, and she found most of it. I deserve this one. I set a good girlfriend up with a close guy friend. Goy. Then he started cheating on her. He thought since I was his mate he could tell me and I won't tell her. Except, she was my friend too. I ended up basing my decision on a personal experience where an ex had cheated and everyone knew except me. How devastated and betrayed I had felt. So I told her the truth. She confronted him and his reply, it, don't listen to Miss Shake. She's just ducking jealous. Just played matchmaker to get closer to me, etc. She believed him. So did my circle of friends on her side and his side. I never quite got over that. Her brother sexually assaulted me at the age of 12. While I was sleeping on a mattress on the floor of her bedroom. And she was sleeping in her bed 2 feet away. Her mom emotionally blackmailed me into not telling my mom. Read me a clearly dictated apology letter. Had him come and say sorry to me. More like his feet. When I eventually caved and told my mom. And she crapped all over his mom. I was somehow the guilty party. Then again. This was a woman who put a 6 year old on a diet because she was chubby. She wasn't. I fired him. Not as my friend. I employed him to help him out. And ended up needing to let him go. He wants nothing to do with me now. Don't work with friends. We grew apart. I needed emotional support during a very tough time and she wasn't interested in helping. So I ended it. He slept with my girlfriend and sold his sister's virginity to a guy for $100. He got addicted to league and stopped talking to anybody. Edit. The fact that I'm getting so many am I your friend? Responses is worrying. Guys. Please don't let a ducking free to play trash video game ruin your life. Check out our stop gaming or contact a therapist if a video game has consumed your life to the point where you lost all your friends and are a neat. At the very least. Shoot your former friends a text. I'm sure that they'd love to hear from you. His junkie girlfriend who was on probation stole $300 from me and abused my cat. He my former friend refused to believe she could do such a thing and got pissed off at me about it. Former friend decided that free blow jobs and housekeeping from the junkie on probation outweighed 20 plus years of friendship with me. Edited for clarity. She was maid of honor in my wedding. After, I would try to make plans with her for lunch or whatever, and she always cancelled the day of, never gave a reason just oh I forgot I can't. Some other time, I realized I was the only one putting in any effort so I just stopped trying to do things with her. I figured if she wanted to do something she'd get a hold of me. I got married in July of this year. Haven't heard from her since. She'd only really message me if she wanted something. If she was down I'd try my best but if I was upset it was oh I'm really not in the right place right now. Talk later which is fair enough but I always tried to help her. She'd also message me screenshots of the argument with her boyfriend. They're a red couple and my advice is always either dump him or talk it out which is never what she wants to hear but what am I supposed to do about it? I guess she just wants validation she's right to be annoyed but she can be really unreasonable sometimes. Oh and then she asks for money under some bullet pretense and then buys weed. I know I shouldn't fall for it and I've stopped now but you know. Edit. I'm a girl. I don't just say dump him or talk it out I put it nicely. Perhaps try counseling? That type of thing. And I listen to what she's saying first. I do try my best to figure out where she's coming from but they dated before. He cheated. 
She forgave him. And they've been going out again since. He ducked my wife. Edit. I mean I guess this can be my top comment. You know what they say about how you don't always burn your bridges. But rather let them fall apart due to structural decay. That's pretty much it. She flipped and went super cyan because I had the audacity to make plans with another friend. And invite her. Instead of making plans with her first then inviting my other friend. She then pinned me to a chair and started screaming in my face. That's the day I fired my maid of honor. And booted her from my life. She then smashed my car window that night. Duck my life is better without that itch. Because she calls me on the phone every few months when she's alone and has had a few beers. That's pretty much eliminated the need for other conversation. I missed her a story about an interesting and relevant event in my life today and she ignored it. He died earlier this year. On my birthday. I miss you. And I love you Brad. Edit. Thank you to whomever bought me gold. Edit 2. Again. Thank you for whomever also gave me gold. All of the messages and replies have been wonderful. Brad was an amazing person. And my closest friend. He was taken to a mental hospital. And the drugs they give him make him a completely different person. Edit. Thanks everyone for sharing their own experiences and caring for me and my friend. I'll let him know Reddit cares for him. Haha. <laughs> he became a domestic abuser. Started hitting his girlfriends in high school. No thanks. She was toxic. Always one-upping me. Comparing us and making herself feel better about her appearance. Always leaving me for other best friends and telling them all of my personal it. The list goes on. I left the Mormon church. I lost many friends the moment they found out I left. I even lost a Christian friend because at least as a Mormon I believed in the Bible. Now he doesn't know who I am or what I believe anymore. I have new friends now. But most of my Mormon friends treat me like I died. Her boyfriend didn't like her hanging out with other guys. Made her block me and all of her other male friends on social media. No idea if they're still together. But she hasn't contacted me at all since so. While so many people comment with slept with my so. I thought is a cliche from movies really. My best friend ghosted on me. We met in third grade and were thick as thieves until I went to college. While I can recognize I wasn't the greatest friend always. It was 100% her choice to stop being my friend. I admit it still hurts nearly a decade later. I never got closure. And I doubt I ever will. I'm not sure she has thought out why or would give me the honest truth if I asked. She should have been my maid of honor. And it makes me really sad when I think of that. I try to remind myself that she caused drama for me. She was really passive aggressive and wouldn't talk to me when I did something to bother her. She also never opened up to me about anything bothering her in other aspects of her life. I don't need that back in my life. But I do miss the great times we had all the inside jokes. The way we knew what was on each other's minds we absolutely killed at the game taboo. And I have never gotten that close with anyone again. But I did read a really beautiful sentiment recently. Which I will try to capture here. The people you have in your life grow and occupy space in the tapestry that makes up your life. When they are gone. It makes a hole where they used to be. The memories and love are still there and may always be there. So don't look at your tapestry as filled with holes look at it as your own unique lace pattern. The pattern isn't over. But it is constantly changing. The pain of loss doesn't ever really go away. But it does lessen over time. If you ever need to talk. Send a PM. My high school best friend got into college around 6 months before me. It happens in my country. She then stopped talking to me altogether. When I finally got into college. She decided it was too shameful to hang out with someone who was 6 months behind her. She'd still talk and go out with other friends from HS. But I was completely ignored by her. I have a daughter with a genetic disorder. Who was really sick when she was born. Which was shocking to everyone because we had no idea anything was wrong. As we were processing and grieving she. Ex best friend. Told me my mom and me think that she's. My daughter. A punishment from God for your past sins. I. He met his current girlfriend and slowly started neglecting his friends instead hanging out with his girlfriend. Now it may sound petty but I had known this guy for nearly 20 years from the first day of school. 
This girl also seemed to change him as a person becoming a lot more spiteful and depressed. The straw that broke the camel's back for me was when I invited him to the pub for my birthday. Less than an hour before we were due to meet up he texted me saying he was ill and couldn't make it. I said oh, that's cool man. If you are ill I won't force you to come out. So I went out and met the rest of my friends at the pub. A couple of hours later I see him and his girlfriend, and some of her friends, coming out of another pub close by. I confronted him then and there. I was slightly drunk at this point so I did not hold anything back. It ended with me saying I was just ducking done trying with him and that he was not worth my time anymore. That was the last time I spoke to him coming up on a year since that point. He tried to strangle another friend in an argument over whether PC or console was better for RPGs. She's toxic. Another friend of mine described her as an energy sucker, which I found to be really accurate. She always has to have attention from men. Even if that means causing needless drama to get them to focus on her. She's difficult to deal with because of this need for attention. I love her. And she knows me better than 98% of the people in my life but as we've gotten older her adult mode hasn't clicked on while mine has and it's hard for me to spend time with her because our priorities are so different now. She died unexpectedly 2 months before she turned 18. I was devastated and have not had many friends since. He OD'd. Edit. 3 months later. I find out that it was actually meningitis. That's good. I guess. He committed suicide a few years ago. Edit. Wow. I posted this thinking it was just going to get buried. Thank you all for your kind words of encouragement. It is an odd feeling to find some solace knowing that others have gone through similar painful experiences. If there's anyone who needs someone to talk to or even just listen, I'll be right here. I let her stay at my place after her mom kicked her out. I was disgusted by her behavior when we lived together. She never saw her kids got it faced all the time and slept with whoever was buying her lunch. She flipped out at her job at a hotel and destroyed the breakfast room and took pictures of it and put it on Facebook. After she got fired she expected me and my then boyfriend to pay for her storage and car. When I told her no one said she was being very rude and a burden she threw a big fit and left. I also married this guy she was crazy in love with who always rebounded her. Edit for kids. Also sorry about the mistakes I'm on a crappy phone. One of them found out how cool drugs were and started hanging round with the wrong crowd. Another finally got his first girlfriend in 19 years and fully ghosted all of us. Full stop. Being around her became very draining. She was my best friend since kindergarten. She was never able to talk about anyone but herself. And eventually, the only jokes she'd make were severely self-depreciating. About her weight, her depression, all her flaws. Serious things that I could not laugh about and brought the mood down every time. She had social anxiety so we were never able to go out and make new experiences together. And while I tried so, so hard for so many years to keep her actively included in group activities, she just did not cooperate, but complained when I didn't do it. All of our conversations ended up remember when we did this? Half laughing at stale, decade old in jokes and playing single player video games that she wouldn't share. I was supposed to think watching is just as fun, it worked like this our whole lives. We're 20 now. Her goal is to never leave her parents house and be on welfare the rest of her life. They enable this. I basically ghosted when we graduated high school. I feel terrible. But I felt worse when I had to look after her. She got mad because I ducked her bf. P.S. I acknowledge that this was a totally fair reaction. Edit. This happened 20 years ago. Both my ex-friend and the boyfriend have since moved on in separate directions and both now live happy lives. Or edit. I am impressed by the amount of, mostly negative, response this post has amassed. And I am guessing that many of you are projecting past experiences of a similar nature onto me. That is completely okay. And I don't really mind being diagnosed as an arsehole by the Reddit Collective. We're all anonymous anyway, but as this has escalated so massively, I won't be making any more replies as anything I add only seems to infuriate people further. I realized that I was the only one really giving my all in our friendship. 
She didn't care and didn't bother. I was sort of a fuller friend to her. The worst part was she laughed along when someone else made fun of me. Sometimes I kinda miss the times we shared but I guess I needed to be better to myself. He did a bunch of weird things. Lies. Being creepy with other people's girlfriends. After breaking up with his GF. Who's a friend with all my other friends. And so I confronted at him about it and he resents that I did that. I think he just went into panic mode. Thinking that people were talking about him, the ex being so closely entwined in our social circle, and it all got out of hand. Edit. Typos. This happened fairly recently and he still tries to contact me like nothing's wrong. His girlfriend rings me up. Asks if I'd be up for a threesome. Sure I say, major dry spell on my part and she's cute as hell. Just so long as you and he are 100% okay with the idea. No problem. They've spoke in detail about it I get told. He starts organizing it like it's a staff meeting at work. Even tried setting up for 10am on a Tuesday. Not a ducking chance. It doesn't work like that surely. Just get drunk one night and see if it happens right. Few days later I get another call from his girlfriend. She's freaked out by all this organizing he's doing. I know the feeling and we talk for a while. Right up until the point when she confines into me that she isn't and never has been 100% consentive of this whole thing and that he's forced her into this. I'm sorry. What? I flipped. Hard. This guy's supposed to be my best friend and he nearly convinces me to have sex with a girl that ain't fully committed. Fully aware of the fact that she isn't fully committed. In my eyes that's just rape. Haven't spoke to him since. I got sober. I never realized how fast friends can drop you. Until I wasn't up for smoking meth all day and getting drunk every night. Moved a long distance away and just sort of grew apart. We graduated high school. Moved to different cities and both realized we apparently had no interest in keeping the contact alive. Shrugs. She got a boyfriend and became an ass and didn't talk to anyone but him. Then, when they broke up. She started texting me again, and I just didn't respond because obviously I wasn't as important. So now we're not friends. It's for the best. Really. We were friends. And then dated. And then now we're not friends. Son of a rich slept w my gf. Gave me an std. I've always been a terrible day to day friend. But I'm a great friend in need. Need help moving? I'm there car broke down i'll help you tow it work on it or trade it in whatever need to cry on a shoulder i have the gift of being able to listen sympathetically without needing to offer my opinion but i don't call to shoot the breeze i don't initiate getting together for dinner just to get together on those occasions where someone asks me to hang out i always feel like i have to earn my keep friends routinely drop out of my life i haven't had a best friend in a long time but now and then I'll get a call, and I answer. He was nice, when it was just us two, but a prick, when others came too. I thought he liked my presence and company, only later did I see, his need to belittle me, I mistook his put downs as acts of friendship, and thought it was me, who was just supposed to take it, I was the fat guy and him the fit, looking back, it did seem odd, a tad bit, I moved away to study more. He stayed put, to take in drinks galore. I thought it was a farewell, goodbye, but little did I expect, to completely forget the guy. For true friends did I really meet, people who were just nice and not for a treat, way past the need for love and fame. They wouldn't care, even if I was lame, joked and laughed till we cried, wouldn't regret even if that second we died. They showed me what was true bro love, made me feel, like a finger in a glove. Looking back I wonder if it was a waste, a friendship that I had taken as the best, in haste. No matter now, time has flown, I'm sure, even he has grown, with friends like mine. I'm in the best of it, for they wouldn't hesitate to say, this poem is it. Stage 4 colon cancer, by the time we all found out it was only a matter of about a month before he was gone. She enjoyed belittling me whenever we argued over something and not only put details of said arguments online. She twisted it to make me look like I was 100% at fault and painted herself as the victim. She did that to everyone. And she probably still does. 
She picks fights over such minor things and involves herself in things she shouldn't. The last straw, however, was her insulting my fiancé registered signee, and we both blocked her. She found out via a different account that she had made it public as she always does. We then started getting threats from her, which just confirmed we made the right decision in kicking her out of our lives. I had wanted to leave for years but I was too scared to go. I knew her for 11 years. She's 9 years older than me, 33, yet her maturity levels are way behind for someone of her age. During the years we were friends. She didn't mature in the slightest and I don't believe she ever will. Part of me feels sorry for her actually. She got into a super SJW crowd. We used to be able to talk candidly about anything and now it's like walking on eggshells talking to her. She also made no effort towards the friendship the last couple of years. But would text me every 3 months or so I'm so sorry I'm such a ratty friend. Thanks for being there for me so I stopped responding with an it's alright. Life can be hectic and instead just replied with a yep.